Stand by. Uh, Tom, please, we're doing a TV show here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Tom, Tom, we're having some venting issues in the studio, and Tom was nice enough to be, he was explaining it to us. <laughs> anyway, nonetheless, uh, time for Wiki Who. All right, uh, the game goes like this. Now, Martina, this is your first time ever playing. Yes, it is. <laughs> Very simple game. Uh, I give you three famous people okay. who have something in common. Okay. And then I give you a semi-obscure factoid from one of their Wikipedia pages. Okay. You gotta connect the person to the factoid. Am okay. I allowed to Google while you're talking? No. Oh. Okay. Darn. <laughs> Darn. Based mostly on vibes. <laughs> uh, but now we're gonna do, we have three celebrities, we have three questions, but you cannot use the process of elimination because there's no guarantee that every celebrity has a factoid chosen. Okay. Okay. Now, here's the thing. If you go three for three, uh -huh. you get the relish that we've had here since the beginning of the pandemic. The grand prize! Uh, the Relish and Tommy Lee Jones both trying to solve this crowd strike outage <laughs> for us right now. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go, guys. On this day in 1595, Johannes Kepler had an epiphany leading to his theory of the geometrical basis of the universe. Mm -hmm. So, we have for you Alicia Keys, Sharon Stone, and Sylvester Stallone. Now, I know what you're saying. Why these three? What do they have to Why do with these? Johannes Kepler? Johannes Kepler, obviously very smart. And so are these three. These are our three celebrities who all have genius IQs. Oh, men's mm. Alicia Keys has a 154 IQ. What? Mm. Sharon Stone, also 154. Mm. Sylvester Stallone, an IQ of 160. Really? Genius Rocky? is considered 140. 140 is considered genius. Joy Adrian. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> now, honestly, I don't know how to verify their IQs, <laughs> but this is according to the internet, capital T, capital I. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> You clear, Martina? You get it? No. No, I think I, I, I don't you'll know. You'll understand. I'm going to ask the question, and then you'll see. You just okay. got to pick which person you think this is. Easy. Okay? Okay. Easy. Who of these three <laughs> appeared on The Cosby Show? Oh. Alicia Keys. Okay. You got one for Alicia Keys. Tracy? I know the answer. Oh, okay. Then you go last. Oh. Martina, um, guess one of these three. Sharon Ooh. Stone. Sharon Stone. Alicia Keys. Now, normally I go through a long, drawn-out thing where I say who it is, but she's right. It is Alicia Keys. Um, she appeared, she was one of Rudy's friends who came over for a uh, slumber party. And Rudy. we have a clip. Yeah. Take a look. She's so cute. Here comes the clip. Can't wait. Dang it, crowd yeah. strike. Come on, what the? <laughs> <laughs> They're telling us to wait. <laughs> Okay, so they're doing like a like a, a rodeo thing. Oh. They're gonna ride on, on Bill's knee. Now here comes Come this on. is Alicia. That's Alicia. That's Alicia. That's Alicia. That's Alicia. Alicia. Yeah. Oh my gosh. By the way, she does the best too of the riding. I watched the whole the whole scene. Mm -hmm. She stays on longer than How anybody cute. else. How cute! By the way, strong hip flexors on Bill Cosby. Apparently. Who knew? Alicia yeah. Keys. All right, so uh, 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 yeah. uh, Tracy got that one correct? You got and that one correct? Yes, sir. Uh, Martina, I forget who you chose. Uh, someone that was <laughs> probably that wasn't there. Uh, yeah, here's the thing. I host this game. I never know the score, though. Oh. So I need somebody to keep score for me. I want that relish. Kind of don't, oh. but anyway. <laughs> uh, second question. Who started second grade at age five? Hmm. They go into second grade at age five. I'm gonna go with uh, Sharon Stone. Okay. I'm gonna go Sharon Stone too. I'll go with <laughs> Sylvester Stallone, just to Sylvester be different. Sylvester Stallone, <laughs> okay, sure, hey. Uh, you know, five-year-olds typically, they go to kindergarten. So we're talking, what, this is three years ahead of schedule, because you got kindergarten for second grade. Um, Alicia Keys, we saw there, she was on the Cosby Show at age four. So that'd be a year before mm -hmm. turning five. This person also got a creative writing scholarship for college. Mm. Went into college at age 15. Get out. Sharon Stone. Ah. Not only smart, but good in the classroom as well. <laughs> All right, you guys got that one correct? <laughs> yes, sir. You guys are it's, you guys are both in the running for the relish, Tracy and Come and on, Ruben. Trace. Come on, Trace. Hi. Look at that. Uh, I don't know if we can get the relish, though, because it's busy trying to fix the internet. No, that's okay. <laughs> it's recovering. Um, some technical difficulties. Please stand by. Final question. Who got their college degree without taking all of the classes required? Hmm. I'm going to go with Alicia Keys. Okay. 
Hmm. Mm -hmm. Get out my head, Ruben. Yes, I, I sure did. Okay, well, I'm gonna be different. Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> I was thinking, we gotta go. He, he, he has to win something on this game, <laughs> right? No, no, I said okay. you cannot, you cannot use, oh. you should not use the process of elimination, but. Oh, okay. I'll go with Stallone. Okay. Sylvester Stallone. Well, guys, uh, Alicia Keys, from what I could tell on her Wikipedia, did not go to college. She was already like on to music stardom at that point. Really? I mean, even if she wasn't a big star yet, people were like, music's her career. <laughs> uh, and, she had, and she had much training. She went to like the Performance High School of New York or something. Oh, so she was, you know, she was trained in her field. Thanks. Sharon Stone, when she was in college, was a candidate for Miss Pennsylvania. She won Miss Crawford Ooh, County. I can see that. And when she was at the pageant, a judge said, you should drop out of college and go to New York and be a model. Oh. And she said, that sounds fun. And she did. Really? Yes, and like almost immediately, you know, signed by a major agent. I mean, look at her. She's gorgeous. Yeah, she's gorgeous. Signed by one of the major modeling agencies. So she did go back and get her degree. So did Sylvester Stallone, because he mm. left the University of Miami early. And then asked them, that his acting and life experiences be accepted in exchange for his remaining needed college credits. This is after he was a big star in University oh, of Miami. Smart. said, you know what? Sure. Here's your, here's your Bachelor of Fine Arts, <laughs> Sly. It was Sylvester Stallone who Sylvester. talked his way oh. to his degree. Uh, I believe... Uh, uh, Tracy. I, Tracy. Tracy. I don't think anyone won it. You, got, you went three for three, didn't you? No, I don't. Yeah, she did, <laughs> oh. though. Well, don't here's the good news for you. <laughs> you, you, uh, got... you won it, but we can't go get it because it's oh, busy yay. fixing all the computers <laughs> in the world right now. <laughs> okay. There you have it. Up. Uh, the story, by the way, is that we got this. The folks at Smart and Final sent this over like at the beginning of the pandemic because it was supposed to be baseball season. Yeah. And oh. uh, it's been in our refrigerator since. And it has been open, too. Ugh. So, yeah. I look at her face. <laughs> Martina's like, nah. I'm not having it. <laughs> now, uh, we had a Don't chef in Martin. studio who told us 90 days for relish. Ooh. And we're going and on five years now. <laughs> so. Yeah. It's a science experiment. Nobody's now. ever tasted it, though. So if you want any extra sides, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You know where to go. Might be a good probiotic. Yeah, it's <laughs> probably full of probiotic somethings. <laughs> All right, guys, that was WikiWho.